we are getting most of our leads uh, and most of the market traction that we're seeing is in really high value applications where we can help customers mostly off the grid uh, save and lower their energy costs by substituting uh, diesel fuel and sometimes even gas fuel, which is the case in Australia, with cheaper renewable power. And this is enabled by energy storage and by also a smart energy management system that is also something that uh, Unico has brought to, into the Agrico group. We've got very two heavyweight uh, in, the, in the sector. One is Africa, uh, and there's no surprise there. And the other one is Australia. Well, there's really, really big traction on the Australian market, especially in the off-grid market. Um, and we've got good cards to play on both markets because we've got a, a very global presence, as we were saying before. So, so Australia and Africa are certainly the two contenders um, in, the, in this off-grid uh, market. But Latin America is also uh, a, very, a very interesting area that we are pursuing as well. Uh, we'll be deploying, in particular, this YQ uh, V0 in very remote areas in the Amazon region, saving multiple millions of dollars over the course of the next 10 to 15 years. And this is a scheme that we can replicate in many isolated areas. What is required from solar power from customers that are off the grid? So we wanted to have a solar solution that was tailored to those off-grid customers, and that's try to maximize the amount of solar power that can be injected mm -hmm. into the customer load, into the customer grid, but without compromising on the reliability of their system. And one of the ways that we found was really compelling for them was to have a, a, one, a single axis tracker allowing us to increase significantly energy production compared to a, 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 a fixed uh, structure. Uh -huh. Uh, which means we can push 15 to 20 percent more solar power than a conventional uh, fixed structure. And at the same time, while pushing this power, we are maintaining a level of solar penetration on an instant basis, which is at a certain, you know, uh, which is quite low compared to the total uh, maximum power that the customer, which means that we're not destabilizing their system. Uh -huh. And for the gaps and the variations that's of solar power, then we can compensate that easily through thermal generation or with batteries. A lot of our existing customers are sometimes a little bit uh, risk averse with new technology, especially with renewable power, sure. especially when they don't have access to the grid. And we're the only so source of power for them. So typically what happens is a customer will come to us and say, I would like to try this hybrid, but can you just put in one megawatt uh, of power, mm -hmm. and then you know, in, in a couple of, in one year, in six months, once we've seen how that operates, we can increase, and that typically what what they like with this offer is that we can add those blocks independently. So we've designed the other specificity of this solar solar block in particular is that we've contain, containerized all the power electronics, uh, which means that for all these solar plants that is about you know. Uh, nine, nine hectares in footprint, you've got one container, 20 foot container, that holds all the power conversion equipment, which means we can also pick it up and redeploy it somewhere else. Right, yeah. So we've started to build redeployability into solar plants the same way that we have transportability into our generators. Okay. It's obviously a bit more challenging because they take more space. What we we're trying to do is push, increasingly push the level of penetration of renewables. So that's how we we think we can displace, you know, economically. So there's a key word here, which is economically. You know, people are very uh, sensitive about uh, the environment, but a lot of the time, you know, this needs to come at the same cost as what they're getting with different forms of power. Sure. So we always work within this economic constraint, uh, also because we don't operate with subsidies. We operate in territories where, where you know, we, straight out of the box, it needs to be economical. So we're trying to have the right balance between pushing renewables, but pushing them to a point where they are still, as a whole solution, as part of the system, competitive compared to other sources of energy. So we can do that with hybrid plants. It allows us to reduce by 20%, roughly speaking, uh, the amount of uh, fuel consumed, whether it's gas or whether it's diesel. Um, and we would really want to then move on to the next step, which is you know, towards the 50% mark. And there it starts to become interesting because that means at some point during the day, you have to turn off your generators. 
and you have to be able to deliver power with a mix of battery and solar or battery and wind. And that's where I, th I see our next sort of frontier, our next step uh, being. It will take a little bit and it will take a combination of solar prices continue to drop and battery prices continue to drop as well. I guess the one that is really valuable for us is the ability for storage to stand by and step in if there's an, a, a failure on the grid that would compromise the reliability for the customer. And we call that spinning reserve displacement or redundancy displacement, meaning the battery is standing by, it's not burning any fuel as a generator, but it's ready to step in and stabilize the grid as soon as it needs to. When you're running off grid, you have to run more generators than what you actually need to meet the load. And when you run more generators, they all operate less efficiently from a fuel consumption standpoint. So what we do is instead of running more generators, we substitute one of the extra generators with a battery. This battery stands by, it doesn't burn any fuel, and it allows the, the rest of the power plant to operate at a much more efficient point. And this difference in efficiency translates into fuel savings that goes straight to the bottom line. Sure. So that's, that's the simple value proposition. Today we're here to uh, launch two new products uh, and that actually these two new products will be put on the field this year uh, in, uh, in Australia for the, for the first uh, fully integrated hybrid that we're doing there uh, with this combination. These two product launches result from the cooperation between the Unicos teams that joined Agreco uh, 18 months ago uh, and uh, the Agreco, I would say, core engineering uh, team that has pretty good skills in terms of packaging products so they can be made uh, transportable and modular. So we've basically had those two teams collaborate for the past 18 months to design two products. One is the Y-Cube, which is the energy storage, uh, containerized energy storage battery that we have in two variants, a 30 minute and a one hour discharge duration. Mm -hmm. And the second uh, product that we have today is the solar power pack. Uh, which is essentially a very um, modular and easy to deploy uh, block of one megawatt of solar power mm -hmm. that fits quite nicely into the Agreco offering. There was a previous iteration of this and it was more targeted towards the commercial and industrial market with a smaller block sizes and it was a product that Unicos sold. Uh, this iteration, we wanted to have it as a more larger block, uh, which is only exclusively proposed as a service to our customers. So it's energy storage as a service. It comes in one megawatt, 30 minutes of discharge duration or one hour of discharge duration. And it's really meant to complement our hybrid offering and allow us to do a better job when we put together hybrid plants in how we manage the whole hybrid power plant. So uh, it addresses the off-grid market um, with essentially helping balance uh, renewable, intermittent renewables, but it also looks at how we can help commercial and industrial customers behind the meter uh, save on their energy costs by using software and using storage smartly. We've got a, a containerized, completely containerized package that includes battery modules from tier one uh, manufacturers. It includes uh, the air conditioning and the climate control system, as well as um, transformer um, and fire suppression system. So it's a, it's a self-contained package that we can just ship on site and that can be immediately deployed. You know, I think it's been challenging for these type of companies to prove a business, a profitable business model just based on software licensing. And what our view is from this standpoint is that it's only valuable if you can actually package it in a system that realizes benefits that the customer can measure, right? So it's through the realization of these benefits in a service model that we actually leverage the value of the software. And so we've, we've ported, we've included the, the software coming from Unicos 
and we've integrated into our overall power management system so we can then realize the benefits of the combination of thermal, storage and solar.